All right, so when it comes to um, just making like decent beats, I, feel, I mean, I say this in every video, but I feel like most of the time I'll kind of like toy between like two different mindsets and I always, the latter is always better and it always seems to be what translates the most, I guess, for artists as well as, you know, just me. But um, yeah, just, just keeping, things, keeping things simple, man. Like I say this in pretty much every video, but I haven't put it for the title. And um, it really is the key, man. Just keeping, keeping your beats pretty simple is, is genuinely the key. Like m pretty much all of my placements have come through simple beats. Um, but the key is like the actual source is keeping it simple, but it's also with the actual sound selection as well. So if you can couple those together and you've really got like the ear for it, which I guess it just it does take time to like build up, I guess. But yeah, just just having that, have, keeping that in mind, man, is like keeping that at the front, I guess, when you're making when you're creating is always like important. So yeah, I think without further ado, man, I think we're just gonna cook up something simple today. I find this ARP. Just kind of plays whatever key you press. So I might just fuck around, just play a bunch of different keys. Let's see what see what we can get out of it. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I might even just bounce that because I want it to be like more faster. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's try uh, effect rack on there. We reversed it. Oh, that's hard. Playing on like a lead now. That's what I'm kind of hearing. I think like when it comes to like decision making as well, there's no like set order in which you need can in which you need to do stuff. Like sometimes I'll start off with a lead if I can like hear a melody in my head already. I'll just put that down and then figure out the chords underneath it. Sometimes I'll do it the other way around. Sometimes I'll even start with the drums. Like it's it's just totally dependent on you know whatever you're feeling on that particular day. Fuck the last bit up, but we can, we can fix that. Okay, um, I kind of like that sound, so it could work, but I'm also feeling like there could be something better. That's kind of hard. Put some uh, chorus on there. It's 
So I'm feeling some kind of voice over this, like some kind of choir. Yeah, okay, it's not working for this one. It's more like a, these are more like synthy choirs. I want like an actual choir. I think there's one, there's a really good one in Analog Lab, I think. Ooh. I mean, I wasn't going to play something like that, but that could even, that could still work. The reverb. Okay, I think maybe just one more sound before we add drums, and then we can decide if like that's enough. But yeah, I guess one thing to kind of keep in mind is just like, I guess like you need to think about leaving pockets and leaving space. You don't want to completely you know overdo it to the point where like, I don't know there's just no there's just like no pockets in the beat left for someone to do anything on. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe just something plucky. Yeah, I think like a, a quick harp maybe, if I just do like a... Something like that, and we'll just harp it. Half time it. Yeah, something like that. Bring the second half up an octave. Switch the preset, maybe. Yeah, I mean that could be it right there. So yeah, let's see, man. Let's try try some drums on it, man. Let's jump into the treasury treasury kit. Dropping in. What's the date today? 18th. Dropping in less than 10 days. Eight days to go. Okay, get like a normal bounce first and then we can like chop up the hi-hats afterwards, I think. Like that bonito, bonito snare, just on top of the, just on top of the clap. Like another hi-hat, I think. In here. Okay, I 
make a nice open hatch. Yeah, one of these, I think. Like they're kind of like bouncing off each other. the art by itself is kind of crazy. Just separate all this out. For the beat, you know, sort of a weird arrangement, but I feel like it kind of makes sense. Again, man, like not a lot of layers, like just taking a look at the project. I mean, what we got 13 sounds, including all the melody, all the drums, even the risers, everything, man, everything apart from a voice tag. But yeah, man, key thing is just to keep it simple, keep everything kind of just strip it back to the basics sometimes, you know, it doesn't hurt to do that. And obviously, you can experiment with effects and textures and really manipulating the sound, but in terms of the actual foundations, you know, make it, you know, keep things nice and nice and open, man. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up for this one. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.